Nathaniel M. Perez. How's it going, everybody? Uh, I'm Brandon Louis. for 15 years. So I've been fencing for 10 years. I've been since March 31, 2007. Yeah, it's 10 years now. The most important thing to remember before a competition is one, to relax, and two, to really be fully confident in, in all your actions and everything that you're doing. Yung equip equipment natin. So, Importante na lahat ng equipment na gagamitin natin for the competition ay nag-work. Kasi malaking factor ang um, um, equipment sa laro. So kung hindi nag-work ang mga equipment natin, pwede itong makasira sa game natin. And syempre pangalawa is yung, um, yung state of uh, mind natin. Kailangan clear yung mind natin from all the distractions. Kailangan focus tayo sa game natin. And pangatlo, we have to pray during uh, before the games kasi malaking uh, factor yun para makabus na moral natin. Uh, advice to all young fencers, um, first, you have to love what you do. Siyempre, kailangan mong uh, magtiwala sa ginagawa mo and dapat lahat ng ginagawa mo ay gusto mo. Kasi doon mag-start yung pag-achip mo sa dream. Advice to young fencers is to really be confident in your actions. Um, if you hesitate or stutter, it can be seen as a stop and I think that you should really try to you know, show confidence because even if you're scared of your opponent, they're probably just as scared of you are as they are. So they're probably just as scared of you are, yeah. I think it's a little bit of both. I believe that hard work and dedication is, you know, the, one of the most important things. But unless you're born with a desire defense, you can't really, you know, pursue that training schedule, you know? Someone that doesn't love fencing couldn't live my schedule, which is traveling a lot and fencing, you know, maybe 20 hours a week. If you don't love it, it's a long time to be doing something you don't love. So, you know, ultimately, you know, you do have to be born with a desire to pursue it. You have to really love this sport. And, you know, two, hard work beats talent any day. So they can be the most talented person, but if they don't work hard, it doesn't mean anything. So you gotta love the sport, and you gotta be willing to put yourself through the ringer and swallow your pride and really work hard and humble yourself. Fencing star are me. Because you mga tao may talent, pero hindi sila nag uh, I think hindi magig magaling na fencer kasi hindi sila nag-start na ma-enhance pa yung skills nila. And uh, tingin ko yung mga walang talent na nag-work hard ay yung mga taong successful. And nabasa ko sa isang uh, article na ang mga hardworking people ay yung mga successful people. So, if gusto nyo ma-achieve yung then work hard.